That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. What's going on my friends today back with another video today we got something really cool i'm gonna be showing you guys my top 10 favorite music video effects so if you guys have already been subscribed to my channel you probably have seen countless tutorials i'm gonna actually be linking a lot of the tutorials i made for a lot of these specific videos down below in case you guys would like a step-by-step -step tutorial the point of this video is i'm just gonna give you guys a quick little run through of my 10 favorite i didn't put them in any order so it's not like number one is my favorite number two it's just it's just 10 of my favorite effects that i like to use and i use them on a regular basis depending on the video process project itself so like i said i'm gonna run through i'm gonna show you how to make these 10 effects and then i'm also going to explain some cool little things you can do just to change them around some cool little creative ideas you can put behind this i also want to mention that this tutorial is going to be a mix of premiere things after effects things it's going to be some plugins it's going to be some not plugins i tried to keep it as non-plugin as i could but i would like to mention some of my favorite plugin effects that i use a lot that i really like so let's start out with the very first effect we're going to be doing i'm going to show you guys how to quickly make line effects in your videos very simple way to do it we're going to be doing this with after effects so I just right clicked it. I clicked replace with After Effects composition. We're going to go ahead and click on After Effects. So we've got our footage into After Effects right here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double click on this until it says layer. If it still says composition, just double click on it again. Once you've gotten there, go ahead over to this right side right here. We're actually going to click on this paintbrush tool to bring up the paint tab. You can go ahead and change any of your brush sizes, the actual brush softness or hardness of it, any of the colors. Now all you have to do is just make sure your duration is on single frame instead of constant or the paint's going to stay there and not make this animation kind of thing all you need to do is just go ahead and draw any kind of line pattern and then click the page up and page down key to move frame by frame so i'm going to click page down to move another frame draw another line page down to move another frame and then just go ahead and just draw these lines so I went through and I drew all my lines. I'm gonna click File, Save, just so I can view this in Premiere. Let's go back into Premiere and see what we just drew. So here's what we made, just some cool little quick animations. Like I said, full tutorial to that is gonna be linked below in case you guys don't like the pacing I went through that. Like I said, I'm gonna be going through these very quick. So the reason why I like this effect is because it's very fast paced, it's very flashy. You can actually customize this to a certain extent. If you go and watch my full length tutorial, I'll show you how you can change some blending modes and do other things to stylize these lines. Next effect I'm gonna show you is any kind of keying. So there's a few things you can do with keying. If you actually go into Premiere and you look up Ultra Key, if you're using After Effects, you can actually use a color key as well. I'm Pretty sure you can use color key and premiere as well so either of those work if you place that on your clip and then go up to your effect controls right here you're going to see your ultra key effect you can click on this dropper and you can just take out any colors in the actual shot that you do not like so i've made countless videos about cool things you can do with this you can even mask out parts that you wouldn't like in this actual key just so you can keep it a little bit cleaner I'll invert it just like that. You can actually couple this effect with a lot of my resource packs, which I actually give out on my channel and my website. Link to my full website will be down below. If you guys are subscribed, you probably have stumbled across this. I have a bunch of free different packs that I give out. Here's my Vaporwave pack, my newest one that I just put out. Say for example, we key out that color in the background and we would like to have this clip in the background instead. Because of keying, we can do that. And you can create some really crazy looks just by doing stuff like that. Now, I also wanna mention another cool thing you can do with this ultra key effect is if you actually go and download my free green screen elements page or just use this on any other kind of green screen clip or even green screen footage what you can do is actually key out the green screen just to get these really cool um, animations in your video without having to do any 3d modeling so i'm going to apply the ultra key effect onto this green screen clip of a lamborghini driving from my um, resource pack that i gave out my green screen pack on my website i'm going to key out the green color so that is going to bring me into my next effect what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply some cool stuff into that ultra key green screen clip that i just showed you how to do this effect is one of my all-time favorites it's definitely in the top five out of this top 10. this is something that i use a lot because i think it can really change the whole 
mood of the entire video and that is actually sapphire glow or if you don't have the sapphire pack you can use after effects glow i wouldn't recommend using premiere glow because it looks horrible but sapphire glow is an amazing amazing effect if you do have the sapphire pack i talk about it a lot with the sapphire pack you can actually create and load in preset made settings so you can actually get some really cool stuff as you see right here what you can even do with this is go into the color wheels and maybe just change around the actual look of the lamborghini a video on how to use these green screen elements from my pack change the colors of them and then make them glow will be linked down below very good video that i made next up we have another sapphire plugin but don't worry i'm not going to keep this all plugins this is just another really cool one this is the sapphire distort so with this one it's just going to create some insane looking stuff um, if you load a preset like i talked about for the other one you can just get some really cool creative and trippy looks from this something like finger paint. I made a full tutorial called liquefied skin. I'm um, talking about how to use the sapphire distort. Just like the other ones, you can mask out any of the backgrounds just to have the effect apply to any specific area that you would like. So now that I talked about those two sapphire plugins, sapphire glow and sapphire distort, I just want to name two after effects equivalents, which are pretty similar to them. Two things that I've talked about in after effects that I also have videos on, which are similar to this and they are non plugins. They're all free. After effects actually does have its own glow effect, which actually isn't that bad. You can get a good looking glow within after effects a lot better than premiere also if you have after effects and not the sapphire pack you guys can use my displacement map tutorial to create some cool liquefied distortion it looks pretty good i'll link that below as well so let's move on to our next clip and this one is actually pretty simple this is just overlays so adding an overlay clip and then changing the blending mode is going to allow you to make a lot of cool customization throughout your videos a lot of like static distortion kind of stuff it really changed the overall vibe of the video you can make some really cool like vintage vhs looking stuff this way as well as you can overlay any of the motion graphics or trippy stuff from any of my packs so i'm going to show you how to do that now for example if you have my vhs overlay pack very very useful one what you guys can do is any of these static overlays such as this one overlay that on top of your clip go ahead and rearrange it to be the actual size of your clip just like this so i'll change the duration i'm going to right click on this and click scale to frame size and then come up here to your effect controls go to opacity and then change the blending mode to something like either overlay or screen something like that you can even bring down the opacity a little bit if this is too overwhelming another cool thing you can do to combine some of the effects i've been talking about is you can apply a sapphire glow effect onto that um, static snow that i was talking about go ahead and play with the threshold just to be able to apply that look something like that i think it looks a lot better than just like the normal kind of static that you guys can get so that's a pretty simple one a lot of different things you guys can do with that next we're going to go into another plugin but this time this plugin is free this is actually the saber plugin from video copilot this thing is extremely useful because it actually gives you a bunch of different uses i'm going to start in premiere and then bring it into after effects if you guys just have after effects you can only use after effects so what i'm going to do i'm going to click this new item little page right here in my project bin and i'm going to click transparent video and then click ok I'm going to bring that transparent video over this clip, kind of like an adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the transparent video and I'm going to click replace with After Effects composition and then go into After Effects. So now we're in After Effects. We can just delete that transparent video altogether. And then we can go ahead and click this kind of like checkerboard square right here, the toggle transparency grid. So now we can just see all the transparency. Next, let's use the Sapphire plugin to create some cool animated titles, as well as I'm going to show you some other cool stuff you can do with it. So let's go to the text effect. Let's just create a title real quick. Like I said, if you want the full length thing, check out the full tutorial in the description. I'm purposely going through this fast just because if I if I did full length tutorials for all this, the video would be like super long. So I'm going to go ahead and just make some text. You can change the characters in here as well as you can scale it up. You can change any of the fonts. And now what we can do is go up to layer, new, solid, and then just click OK. What we can do now is go into effects and presets and make sure you have that Sapphire plugin downloaded. I will link the video which has all the information on how to download how to install this how to use it it's a free download like i said and this thing is insanely useful so make sure you get this drag that onto our red solid and now this red solid kind of becomes like a control layer so what we can do with this is come up here to our effect controls and we're just going to change around some stuff to get the effect that we like so first um, we have alpha mode right here it's on disable let's go ahead and make that mask glow let's go to customize core and let's change this core type from saber to text layer and then text layer we're going to make that the text that we wrote so we wrote saber plugin and now you see our saber has gone into effect 
And now we just need to get rid of this black background. So let's go into render settings and then composite settings, change that from black to transparent like that. So now we have it on the transparency and then you're gonna see once we bring it back into Premiere um, that we that this is gonna be over our footage in its own layer that isn't affected by any of the adjustments we put onto our footage. The coolest thing about this is they have so many built-in presets. And once you've done that, make sure you hide this actual text layer down below just so whenever you move this, it's not there but make sure you don't delete it. You want to keep it there just so you can change the text at any time. Um, so I click file save and I went back into Premiere. And now as you see, it's just over our footage. And because we made that transparent video, all I have to do is click on this clip and I can resize this however I'd like within Premiere without affecting the bottom layer. But anyways, it was worth the information if you guys missed out on that one. That one is super, super useful. Okay, so this next one is actually a very simple one. This is going to be a huge change and I actually have this available within my Max Novak effects pack if you guys would like to check it out keyframing some hue setting effects but if you guys would like to make your life easier and you get my pack go ahead and just add in trippy hue cycle effect and that is going to create this cool keyframe of changing colors changing the hue i think it looks pretty cool i think it's something that you can really throw on to any clip next let's go into this clip right here and i'm going to show you another very simple premiere trick this one is the color change or change to color effect so this one is especially useful whenever you're outside you can put it on trees to create some really cool trippy stuff you can change the specific color of something such as this hoodie we're going to try so look up color change we're going to apply that onto our clip and then go to effect controls Let's click this eyedropper and then select the color we'd like to change. And then all you have to do is just move around the hue transformation like this. So let's actually create a little keyframe animation where it kind of fades into one different color. And what we can do is we can actually apply a mask onto that just so it only affects the hoodie. So it's something that's really cool. Um, if you saw that trippy red Romeo and Juliet video where all the trees were red, it's using this effect. I used it in another old music video that I did. Something that's really cool. Okay, so next let's go into number nine clip. This is also another plugin, which I'm gonna talk about. This is the Sapphire Flicker effect for Premiere and After Effects right here under time. This creates just some really cool lighting stuff, which you guys can use to create more of like an emphasis in your video, as well as create maybe like a vintage kind of slight flicker, all the way to if you bump up this amplitude, you can create some crazy like strobe like effects. If you're creating any kind of like futuristic techie like hologram stuff, um, applying a flicker onto it is just gonna make it more realistic in my opinion. Moving on to number 10, we have skeleton compositing. And this one I'm actually not gonna apply to the clip just because it's easier just to show other examples that I have done. Basically what this is, it's using that green screen trick that I showed you before, taking a full skeleton or even taking just images of a skeleton hand and then using cropping and keyframes to actually composite this onto a person and then changing the blending modes to make it look all realistic. This is something that I think looks really, really cool. It's something that can be pulled off. It might sound hard from how I explained it, but go check out the full tutorial I have on this. I make it simple for you guys. I also add inverts into this so it can create this really cool like x-ray vision like effect. Anyways, guys, those are 10 of my favorite music video effects. I hope that you guys learned something new from this i hope that you guys could be able to take these effects apply your own individuality creativity to it create some really cool stuff if you guys do make sure you send it at me on twitter or instagram i love seeing what you guys create if you guys are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button tutorials music videos travel films helping you guys through business editing film all that kind of stuff thank you guys for watching this video please leave a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later